A fair die is rolled twice. The first roll is a three. The first question is, are the two rolls independent or dependent events? Independent events are events where an outcome of one event is not affected by the outcome of the other. And dependent events are events where an outcome of one event is affected by the outcome of the other event. In our case, the outcome of the second roll is not affected by the outcome of the first roll, and therefore the two events or two rolls are independent events. For part A, what is the probability that the second roll is four? Looking at the notation here, we read this as the probability of rolling a four given the first roll is a three. Well, because the events are independent, having the first roll be three has no impact on the probability of rolling a four on the second roll. The probability of rolling a four given the first roll is a three is just equal to the probability of rolling a four. Looking at the sample space, we have one favorable outcome out of a total of six. The probability of rolling a four, which is the same as the probability of rolling a four given the first roll is a three, is one-sixth. Let's also show the decimal and percentage for one-sixth. If we round to four decimal places, one-sixth is approximately 0 0.1667. Which is the percentage is 16.67%. Just keep in mind the fraction is exact, the decimal and percent have been rounded. Part B, what is the probability that the second roll is odd? And we are given the probability of rolling an odd given the first roll is a three. Once again, the events are independent. Having a three on the first roll has no impact on the probability of the second roll being an odd. The probability of an odd given the first roll is a three is equal to the probability of rolling an odd and the odd numbers in the sample space are one, three, and five. There are three favorable outcomes out of a total of six outcomes. The probability of rolling an odd, which is the same as the probability of rolling an odd given the first roll is a three, is three-sixths, which simplifies to one-half, which is a decimal is 0 0.5, which is equal to 50%. And for the last example, we're asked, what is the probability that the second roll is greater than or equal to five? and we're given the probability that n is greater than or equal to five given the first roll is a three. Again, having the first roll of a three has no impact on the probability of rolling a number greater than or equal to five on the second roll. This is equal to the probability of n being greater than or equal to five. Looking at the sample space, the numbers greater than or equal to five are five and six. There are two favorable outcomes out of a total of six possible outcomes. The probability is equal to two-sixths, which simplifies to one-third, which is a decimal to four decimal places is 0 0.3333, which is equal to 33.33%. I hope you found this helpful.